Ladies and gentlemen, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be doing the exchange rate and interest rate. So now you will understand that now it's more about exchange rate and interest rates. And the topic is more about interest rate parity. Now, with the interest rate parity, what we are going to do is we are going to be teaching you more about this and, 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 and this is what you need to understand. Because you will see that on the left hand side we have interest rate and this interest rate is a South African interest rate and then it's equals to, right. So if you deposit your money in South Africa or rather in South African bank, what you're going to do is you're going to earn only South African interest rate. But now if you deposit it elsewhere, which means in the foreign country, what you are going to get is now is the foreign interest rate, US interest rate, and then I just say I, and then I put star here to show that it's a, in, it's, a foreign, it's a foreign interest rate. But now because it's not in your country, we have to add the E to the power E minus E divided by E. So now this E to the power E minus E divided by E, we call it expected depreciation, right? So therefore... The expected depreciation is equals to e to the power e minus e divided by e. This is the expected depreciation. So if you want, you can just call it expected appreciation. Because anyway, it depends on what you expect. Right. Now, what is going to what we're going to do here is now we're going to introduce you to the diagram of these things so that you can see what is happening. The, before I move on to that, I want to emphasize that this is the reward that you get from depositing your money in the foreign country. And then this is the reward that you get for depositing your money in the local country. So now it means if you deposit your money in South Africa, you get this left here. And then if you deposit in US, you get this um, uh, 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 right here. Right. So what is happening here is that now we are going to draw a diagram here. Draw a diagram here. And when we draw the diagram here, I'm going to call it R. Well, R means return. Well, it means if you deposit your money in South Africa, this will be the interest rate. But if you deposit it in the foreign country, this R is going to be the foreign return. So, and then here, I'm going to say the exchange rate. Now, what we have noticed from above is that when you deposit your money in the foreign country, you, when you deposit your money in the foreign country, you now be, are being affected by the exchange rate. That's why now you will see that the foreign exchange rate affects us only when we deposit our money in, in the foreign country. Now, I want you to see what is happening here. What's happening here is when the rent is weak today. Now, the exchange rate now today is, is 12 rent. So you can see that. So then the reward on the foreign uh, deposit will be less. So as you can see, now it's going to be here. This is going to be your reward on the foreign, on the foreign um, uh, 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 deposit. But now if the rent today is 6 rent, now the reward will be too much. Now you can see now the reward now will increase to here. So now you, you have this as, as your reward down here. So if you join these two here, now you have what? You have the reward on foreign deposit or return on foreign deposit. Therefore, it means this line that you see that is sloping down here, you can write that equation as, then this is the equation for this line. This line is the same thing as U.S. interest rate plus expected exchange rate minus exchange rate divided by exchange rate. So what I want to emphasize here is that the e to the power e is the future exchange rate. That's expectation, future, the forward exchange rate. And then now this e is the current exchange rate. It's the exchange rate today. And then this e here is also exchange rate today. So now... What does that mean? It means now that your foreign exchange rate, it depends on 
the current, your, your foreign return depends on the current exchange rate. So now if the rent is stronger today, then it means on your the foreign deposit, you're going to make a loss. If the rent is weaker today, it means on the foreign deposit, you're going to make more. Right, now you understand that. So, what does that mean now? It means that if you are depositing your money in the, the local, um, uh, uh, in South Africa, which is the local, now what is going to happen is that, suppose now the interest rate in South Africa is here. This is the interest rate in South Africa. It's here. So, because the interest rate in South Africa is not affected by um, the exchange rate, therefore it's going to be a line that goes up like this, and then this will be the interest rate in South Africa. So, now the question is, what I have been talking about as the, ex uh, the interest rate parity will be where now the, these two returns are the same. So, that point will be where these two lines intersect. So, now you will understand that the line that's sloping downward here is the foreign um, uh, return. And then the line that is vertical here is the local return. Now, the point where these two lines intersect, it means that is where these two lines are, um, what do you call it, are uh, equal. And at this point where the two are equal, that is what we call the interest rate parity. Now you understand that. So, the interest rate in South Africa is determined in the South African um, uh, money market. We know that from, 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 uh, from our second year macroeconomics. So, we the, the interest rate now is determined in the South African money market. It does not affect, it's not affected by the exchange rate. So, the exchange rate will only affect the foreign reward. Right. Now, you, you understand that. So, what I'm going to do now is we can see that according to this diagram here, it means our exchange rate in the market will be here E1 because that's where these two are equal. That is the exchange rate in the market now. So if you are using this foreign, because this market is called foreign exchange market. If you are using this foreign exchange market to demand exchange rate, your exchange rate will be there, will be the equilibrium exchange rate here, which is E1. Now you understand that. So... The question now is, what happens now? And, and, and you will see that I will just say, what happens now if the interest rate in South Africa are, go, is, are go, going up? Remember, when we are saying the interest rate in South Africa is going up, it can be the same thing as saying money demand goes up or money supply goes down. We're still going to do this in the next lecture, but I'm just showing you what causes the interest rate to go either up or going down. And you need to sort of master these things because um, they can be uh, very involved when it comes to the test. Right. So now when the interest rate goes up in South Africa, it means, remember in economics, we are using the concept of ceteris paribus, which means other things remain constant or other things remain unchanged. So if other things remain unchanged, therefore it means what? It means that your interest rate now will be like this. I'm going to draw my foreign exchange market now. And this is exchange rate. This is the rent per dollar. And then this is the return. So, now, remember the South African interest rate was here, SA, and then the foreign interest rate was here, and this is what? Interest rate in US plus expected depreciation. So now we can see that the, our, our exchange rate is here. So what happens now is the interest rate is increasing in the country. Now you understand that the interest cannot just increase. The interest rate will only increase if there is money demand that is going up or there is money supply that is going down. That, those are the two that will affect your money market. I mean, you know that from uh, the, from the previous... Yeah, but we're still going to do that in the next lecture when we deal with the money market. And then, now, to show that money um, or interest rate is going up, we're going to draw the line here of interest rate going up. Now you can see that now, my interest rate now here 
I write it in what? In, 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 in rate now. This is SA interest rate. I write it in rate. But when you look at this new one now, now look now our interest rate parity now moved from E1 to, uh, let me just call it IRP1 to I. R, P, 2. That's the interest rate parity. Now, you can see that now when we are at this new point here, it means what? It means that the rent has appreciated. Can you see that? Now you can see the other one alone where now you say, suppose now money, uh, 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 the interest rate in South Africa is going down. So if the interest rate in South Africa is going down, it means what? It means that in that case, um, the... Line or this line here, which is interesting, South Africa will shift to the left, and then now you will see the rent appreci uh, depreciating. That's what you have to see. So now I, I'm just gonna show it here so that you can, you can, you can, you can, you can just go and do it alone when you are sitting at home. And in that case, it will be something like this. And this is your um, uh, local interest rate, local uh, return, and then this is your foreign return. And then if interest rate in South Africa is going down, therefore it must move to the left. And then, can you see now, can you see, can you see that depreciation of the rent there? Can you see the depreciation? Because now we move from E1 to E2. But when we move down one, we say appreciation of the, of the rent. And then this will be our exchange rate. This will be your return on the, on the deposit. Right. Now, suppose now, there's something that is happening in US. So now what we're going to suppose here now, we're going to say, now what is going on, what is increasing here now, is the interest rate in, in US. And, and when the interest rate in US now increases, and this is what is going to happen. Remember, this is your exchange rate, and this is your return. So this is your interest rate in South Africa, and this is your return on the foreign deposit. So now the interest rate, foreign interest rate is increasing. So if the interest rate in US is increasing, it's going to affect this one here. And if this one is being affected, therefore it means what? We will see that this line is going to shift upward because now it's not the local is going to be shifted. So therefore, if interest rate in US is increasing, what we are seeing now, we're seeing the depreciation of the rent. And what you must uh, at all times remember is that Depreciation of the rent is the appreciation of the dollar. Appreciation of the rent is the depreciation of the dollar. So, guys, you must go and read these things. I'm still going to come back to, to, to revise them. But as for now, I will call it a day here. And thank you very much, guys, for listening. We will come back again when we explain the money market. Thank you.